Hello Aries! Welcome to our channel Sugarfoot Tarot. My name is Misty the Mystic. We welcome you, my angels and guides welcome you as do I. Uh, this is your love reading for November 2018 for the entire month. We're going to be using the romantic and the sexual magic tarot and pulling from the heart and soul as well. Please check your sun, moon, rising and your Venus sign. This is a love sign. Please check out as many readers as you can, including astrologers, numerology. They're all incredibly important. Um, please like and subscribe. If I resonate with you, please email me. I'll put the information below. And uh, I would love to give you a personal reading. Um, I'm grateful to everyone that's already asked me for a reading. So thank you so much. And let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've already pulled this one for you, so we'll read it at the end. I've also already shuffled. Okay. So. My beautiful Aries for November 2018. Daylight savings in the United States is the 4th. New moon is the 9th. Full moon is the 23rd goes into Sagittarius. Venus goes back direct on the 16th. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Ooh. The Queen. Very, very interesting. Let's go on and find out. So, for singles, you're definitely going to be meeting somebody. Sorry about that. You're definitely going to be meeting somebody with it being vet Venus going retrograde in the first part. It could be an ex lover. It could be someone that you had a crush on or just friends with. Or it could be somebody new. For couples, you're extremely happy this month. Six of Swords. Everyone's happy, getting along, communicating. Daydreaming. Singles, daydreaming of what would be like in the past, present, and future. Maybe something that you want with this person that you met. Maybe you're hoping for more commitment. For uh, committed couples, couples that are together for a long period of time or committed. Very happy. You're thinking of your lover, flowers, romance, daydreaming of how wonderful it was, my beautiful Aries. The past. Strong, independent woman, you beautiful Aries. Men, too. Don't get messed up on, don't get hung up on gender, male or female. Money. Queen of money. Queen of coins. Um, you had your own money. You're strong, independent for singles and for couples. Make your own money. Oh, could be a water sign. Could be a Pisces. Scorpio, like yourself. A cancer, or this definitely could be you on the top of the deck here. Singles, just that's you being you. Couples, this could be your mate. We'll clarify these. Goodness, there's going to be some drama in the future for singles. Could be exes of their exes coming back. Um, the couples, committed couples, could have someone trying to intervene in their relationship. You know, Thanksgiving is coming up here in the United States. Could be just family troubles, struggles. Uh, so, singles, you see yourself with somebody. You're definitely going to meet somebody this, this month. Mm. That's fabulous. And for couples... Um, you're happily doing things, getting ready for Thanksgiving, moving and shaking. Okay, so there's lots of romance. Again, this goes back to the drama for singles. There could be someone in the past that you that you have chosen or they have chosen you, and they're out in the cold. Couples, the person that was trying to intervene in your relationship has been cut out. You're happy in your marriage, very happy. 
hopes and fears. Nope, you're hoping that this Thanksgiving, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, everything's going to be wonderful. And so, final outcome. You know what? You're going to roar. You're going to be the ram that you are. Stakes your claim. That's wonderful. Let's clarify some of these. So, in October, you were strong independence. Yeah, strong independent, knew your own self-value, doing your own thing. You might have been playing the field if you were single or coupled. There might have been, like, again, that third party that's coming in trying to intervene. Let's see about this five of cups for the future. Yeah, you or the other person are going to pick... I would say you. You're getting rid of the person that is that is trying to intervene. You're saying, nope, I don't I don't want this. I don't care for you. I love the other person. And let's check in this nine of the nine of wands. Let's find out here. Yes, that's wonderful. The Queen of Cups. Love's in the air for singles and for couples. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So what I chosen was this. And it says here, Are you feeling a little lost and confused? Wondering which direction, if any, to take? The question, what is, what is that you really want from life? Perhaps it's time to consult your inner child. You know, the one you kept locked away for ages. The one who holds the essence for the real you. Isn't it time to listen to your heart? Oh, that's fabulous. So this might not be another person that we're dealing with. It could be inner you trying to, your struggles. Venus retrograding. Lost in your thoughts. Because I see love and romance. Commitment, loyalty, I don't see um, disloyalty here. I see your month being absolutely fabulous. You're courting each other. Singles find somebody. Couples are with somebody. Getting ready for the holidays. All I see is happiness and love, my beautiful Aries. Okay, I'm sorry it's such a short reading, but it, it looks absolutely amazing. Again, if you'd like for me to give you a reading, get a hold of me. I'd be happy to do that for you. Thank you, Aries. We'll see you next month. Bye-bye.